Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome to a quick video discussing grip uh, combat racing. So this is a PC racer. I believe it is also available on the Switch and the two consoles, PS4 and Xbox One, but I am playing it on my uh, laptop here and I just wanted to quickly go through some thoughts I had about this game and kind of do like a quick review type thing. Um, if this video is up uh, before the weekend is over, you can actually download Grip and play it for free on Steam for the weekend. So if you want to try it out, uh, you can go ahead and do that through Steam. And uh, yeah, so I played Grip about a year ago um, while it was still in early access and I didn't really, I don't think I made a video on it back then, but I really didn't like it uh, while it was still in early access and I just kind of returned the game and sort of figured, you know what, I'll give it some time, I'll wait till it releases and I'll see what happens. And this free weekend came up and I was like, okay, this will, you know, this will be a great opportunity to try the game again. And so I downloaded it and for the past couple of hours and yesterday, um, I was playing it and uh, I'm just, you know, going to let you guys know my thoughts. And this isn't going to be like a yes or no type thing from the time I played it in early access. It definitely has had a noticeable improvement. It is much better in most ways. However, overall, I'm still a bit disappointed um, in terms of graphics. The game looks great. I have really no complaints in terms of that. It runs fairly smoothly on my computer. My computer is kind of freaking out on me for some reason. It's not performing very well, but this game seemed to run fairly fine. You can see the frame rate up in the top corner. So yeah, it runs pretty fine on my computer and I didn't see much performance issues whatsoever. So next up, I want to talk about sound. And in my opinion, the sound is good. Um, it's nothing compared to like distance um, or you know other games that I think have really good sound such as the Speed Racer video game and stuff like that. However, the sound in this game definitely is not bad. The drum and bass soundtrack definitely fits the game um, and the sound effects are nice. Um, there could be some improvements here and there, but overall it's definitely not a bad, uh, a bad soundtrack and uh, I definitely enjoyed listening to the game. I didn't like turn it off so I can listen to my own music. I enjoyed the music that the game had and the sound effects that the game had. So now let's get into the nitty gritty uh, of the game. So even though this name's, <laughs> the game's name is Grip, um, the vehicles never feel planted on the track whatsoever. The gravity in this game is way too low and you'll see what I'm talking about throughout this video. And the vehicles feel extremely bouncy. Um, you never feel safe on the track. There's always an unsettling feeling that at any moment you'll fall off or hit a jump that you can't see. Uh, now I wanna quickly talk about the steering and it's really, well, it's pretty bad. Um, there's no real middle ground between understeering then falling off tracks and oversteering and driving headfirst into a wall. And again, you'll see this throughout the video. Although I did try and take some moments that are, you know, fairly nice to look at. So you're not, it's not just a compilation of me crashing into walls and whatnot. The driving just really isn't very intuitive and it's really extremely difficult to get a feel for how the vehicles drive. So this leads me into the tracks themselves. While some of them are fairly well designed, most of them do not suit the gameplay very well at all. There are a lot of areas that are very easy to fall off of and, you know, there are a bunch of obstacles that stop you immediately if you hit them. And so because you don't have a lot of control of your vehicle, it's very hard to avoid obstacles. And, you know, especially if you're airborne, you don't have much control over your vehicle, so you'll end up hitting stuff that you just can't avoid. There are also lots of gaps in the tracks where if you get screwed by the gravity or physics or something like that, you'll just go flying off the tracks or stuck between two parts of the track and be forced to respawn manually. Um, I believe the tracks and the physics are the weakest part of the game, which is very unfortunate because the gameplay itself and the concept of, you know, having a car that can drive on any like ceiling or wall or anything like that is very interesting and I think it has a lot of potential. So when everything is going well and your car is not bouncing all over over your place um, I think that you know and the track is flowing nicely uh, you can get a very nice adrenaline rush and sense of immersion and overall it just feels right when everything comes together in perfect harmony however for every one moment where everything works nicely there are 10 more rage inducing moments that occur and most of the time when you mess up it feels like you had no control uh, over the outcome and the punishment is super big Sometimes it can be from going to first place all the way to last place after one obstacle hit 
or one time you go off the track. So next I want to talk about multiplayer. I didn't have a lot of experience with this because sometimes there weren't people online, but it seems to work okay in terms of connection. Some people were kind of lagging out, but it could be on their end. Overall, the connection seemed fairly stable and I was pretty uh, happy with that. Um, it isn't very serious, um, but you know, it still has the qualities of the physics and the tracks and everything like that. So it's definitely not the saving grace of this game. However, I can definitely see it being fun to play with some buddies or viewers on a live stream or something like that, especially if they start to improve the tracks and the physics. You can kind of think of this game as more like a hardcore Mario Kart in some ways because you do have um, obstacle or uh, objects you can pick up and shields and stuff like that. So it definitely in that way kind of feels like Mario Kart in the sense that you don't have complete control over the outcome of races. And if you take it very seriously, you will get mad very, very fast. So overall, the game doesn't feel very polished and it still seems like an early access game if I'm being honest. The menu buttons, especially for the controller, I'm using an Xbox controller by the way, they constantly change. So navigation in the menus is awful. And well, like I mentioned the, before, the tracks feel incomplete and poorly designed at multiple times. Right now the game is $15 on sale for the weekend and I don't think it's quite worth that, e that price even at that point. Um, hopefully by the time this video is out, um, like I said, their free weekend might still be going on, so of course I recommend giving the game a shot before making a decision. However, considering the amount of polish and quality that other non-AAA racing games have, such as Distance and Redout, I'm not sure Grip is quite ready to stick to your PC or console anytime soon. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this sort of different type of video. I know it's not mobile related, but um, I thought it was a very interesting game that maybe some of you guys might want to check out. Uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.